Hello, welcome back to Molon Lave Wargaming for the December 12, 1941 turn for the play by email campaign as Japan. Um, wow, uh, a whole lot of really embarrassing turns here. I'm getting my amphibious forces spanked all over the ocean, and it's, it's really starting to grate on me. Um, I asked at the beginning of last turn if I was going to be able to stop the bleeding, and I, I guess the answer is no, so at least for that turn. So that's that's definitely going to be my priority going forward. Um, so yeah, let's, let's just get right into it. So s starting in China, um, I'd say the most important thing going on is, is the activity in the Hong Kong area. We have reached uh, this enemy unit that's outside Canton. However, with 8,000 troops and our units are, uh, let's see, you know, it's, there we go. I've only got 1,400 infantry there um, against their 8,000 troops. So I'm a little bit reluctant to just outright attack with these guys. So I'm going to be holding off for a little bit. In any case, the really good result we had at the land battle in Hong Kong makes me think it's not going to be too important to defeat these guys in detail right away anyways, because we're not going to need to use these guys in Hong Kong. Speaking of Hong Kong, um, so after that fight, uh, we did not accumulate a whole lot of fatigue and disruption, which means our troops are still uh, willing and able to make the grass grow. So they're going right back into it. Heading a little bit farther north. Um, so we defeated a unit over here in this hex, and I think that's probably who this is, that they retreated here. Um, so we're in contact with another unit. Um, in the contact reports, it did look like I had a slight numerical advantage, um, but I'm not really interested in a fight that's close to even when I can just move this division in and then have a complete slaughter. Uh, so for now, we're not attacking here. Just going to hold on a little bit, hit them with some more airstrikes, and keep moving guys over. Um, Heading a bit further north, we have this unit in contact. Uh, so this is a full division. I'm not sure how strong his unit is, but it's he's up against a full division, so I'm just attacking there. Um, this river crossing is going to happen this turn, so that's going to be an automatic shock attack um, to help reduce the casualties that I might take from that automatic shock attack. This enemy unit's going to be targeted with airstrikes. Uh, so then we also have additional forces working their way up. Um, I'm going to start opening combat with these these units surrounding the Xinjiang area soon. Um, maybe still two days or so away on that. Uh, heading further north still uh, on the Kaifeng area, we defeated uh, an enemy unit in this space. It's probably who this is. Uh, you know what? No, this guy's probably from here. Uh, from Kuwaite. I'm guessing these guys would have just retreated back against, back across the river to Chengchou. Uh, in any case, um, we've got to get rid of these guys, and as we continue to clean up these enemy units in the open, uh, we're going to start pushing forward. Uh, so we have a whole bunch of units that have been arriving over here by rail. Uh, they're going to be packing up or unpacking, I guess I should say, and we're going to start making a move for Nanyang and just kind of surrounding these guys and cutting off their supply lines. Something I also noticed, um, that maybe this is a little obvious to everyone else, but I was thinking about how the heck am I going to get to Cyan? Do I really want to take these little crappy roads all up here or try going all the way up here? And then I hit, you know, the road button, and... This shorter road goes all the way through, um, so yeah, that's a little obvious. Uh, so it, I'll be trying to make a bit of a cannonball run down the smaller road and railroad uh, through the mountains. Uh, just a matter of time. Uh, we do have forces starting to congregate up over here around Changting to make that happen. Moving on to Malaya. Uh, so during the post-turn analysis I mentioned fixing these search areas so that we were searching AM and PM, uh, so that's been done. Um, the surface covering for us is these guys. Um, they're further north than I expected them to be, considering they started here. Uh, didn't think they had that far to go. 
Uh, but they'll more or less be on station at the end of this turn. Um, so for now, we're basically pulling all these guys out. Um, if there's still troops on board that they haven't dropped, th those will be allowed to continue. Um, but we want to try to get these guys behind the covering force. And then once these guys are established and I'm a little bit less worried about what's happening, uh, then I'll go ahead and, and start landing troops again. Uh, but for now, that's suspended. Uh, one landing that is still going forward is going to be a little bit of a revisit to Kwantan. Uh, as you can see here, runway damage is still at 61%. It was in the 70s last turn, so this repair is proceeding a little bit slowly. Um, current engineering units here, um, so uh, a base force, um, an aviation support company, and a construction company. Um, not enough, apparently, so I'll be moving two more construction companies in. Uh, I mentioned that in the prior turn. Uh, so those guys started loading up last turn. They're now loaded and ready to head over. Um, so I uh, have my long-range cap ready to go. Our pilots have rested a little bit. Uh, they're not fully rested, but they're not, you know, horribly fatigued either. And we've also been moving in some additional units here. Um, so this uh, Yamada Detachment Zero unit is a recent conversion from quads to zeros. Uh, so they just got here, uh, and you can see they have very low fatigue. And then we also have this unit of Oscars here. These guys were recently converted from Nates, uh, so they'll be giving us a little bit of help. Actually, the, the Oscars are mostly protecting our bomber operations up here. Um, other good news, we do have two additional uh, aviation support battalions that have arrived in Patani. Uh, one of those is going to push on to Kotabaru, um, and the task force delivering... Where are they? The task force delivering the... Um, I think it was 3rd Air Division. There they are. 3rd uh, Air Division's arrived in Kotabaru, so those guys will be up and running next turn, which probably means next turn... I'm at least going to consider moving some Bettys over. Um, I mentioned, uh, I think during the first turn, I wanted to get something of a bounding overwatch going, so this will be the first move. Um, so we'll we'll basically have you know Air HQ supported Bettys flying out of here. Um, they'll go over here while while they have a new Air HQ there, and then once that's set up, we'll move the next Air HQ into Kuching and then we can split the Bettys between there. Um, and then eventually we'd hit the uh, further north force is going to work their way up to Bangkok probably so we can block um, access to Rangoon. But that's getting a little ahead of ourselves. In the Philippines, we have landed these forces over here next to Cabantuan. Uh, this is nearly a division strength unit. Um, so these guys should be able to resist if these um, enemy tanks and related forces turn around and try to take us on directly. Now what I am seeing about the road networks here is that there's no direct connection over to Lingayen, so that's good. Uh, it limits the options of these guys once they get cut off at um, with when our forces move into Kabantuan. Now what I had hoped was that our paratroopers would have ho held on for another couple turns, and then I just would have come in and sealed up the, the space behind them, and then they would have been stuck in this hex, and I could have just killed them here. Um, so that's not going to happen anymore. So basically what what's going to happen is I'm going to cut him off here, and then he's going to have a choice to make. Um, he's either going to have to fight his way back through me, um, try to cross this partial road, um, which is going to take a while. He's, he's going to be hung up for a while. Or what I actually think, unfortunately, is the most likely thing when he gets hung up, is he's just going to charge ahead because he's not got nothing else to lose at that point. Um, and I definitely don't want uh, this little mountain pass road being the thing that undoes the battle for my Spartans up here at the main line on the coast. Um, 
So it's, it's just something I'm going to have to keep an eye on. Um, I may need to use some airstrikes to slow him down if I notice that that's where he's going. I've, I've been avoiding hitting him with airstrikes because I don't want to waste um, attacks like that in the mountains where the, the terrain makes the attacks less effective. Um, but the last thing we want is for all our you know offensive units to leave Vigan and start making their way forward towards San Fernando and Lingayen, and then these guys just charge through, hook to the hook to the west, and just steamroll our air bases while nobody's there to protect them. Um, in terms of getting additional forces there, um, we have three amphibious task forces currently loading into Cow and Pescadores uh, to get more forces in here. And then we also have, I think, two, maybe three, yeah, three amphibious forces that are retreating, uh, so that, well, not retreating, they're just heading back. Um, so they'll be able to pick up more troops and start delivering them later. Um, so hopefully they'll arrive in time to deter any shenanigans from this group. Turning a little bit further south, uh, we are probably two days uh, from being in contact with Kagan. Uh, so that might be fun. Uh, over at Jolo, I've landed a few reconnaissance aircraft here. Um, at least one of these is going to push forward um, either to Minato or Ternate in the coming turns. Um, the recon elements here, I'm basically just going to try to get some clue about what's going on in this area. Hopefully maybe spot some enemy ships, figure out if uh, there's any routes being used. Um, well, the Jolo, or um, the recon plane that's going to stay in Jolo, we're going to start uh, maybe looking around the Philippines to see what's going on, but also definitely uh, looking up this coast, uh, seeing if there's any concentrations of ships in port, um, checking out whether any of these bases are defended by fighter aircraft, that sort of thing. Meanwhile, I'm repositioning the carriers a little bit. Uh, you can see this guy has a really solid detection level. Um, Carrier Division 2 also pretty high. So these guys are basically being monitored constantly, um, which is making them an easier potential target for submarines. Uh, so to maybe throw them off a little bit, I'm going to have these guys kind of move in like a chainsaw pattern. So while Carrier Division 2 is advancing, uh, the baby Keto Buta is going to be retreating. And this will hopefully allow me to get any strikes on um, enemy forces that are retreating through the east side of the Philippines with the baby KB. And then Carrier Division 2 is really going to be looking to uh, possibly make a move on some of these guys, possible sweeps, uh, possible port strikes, uh, depending on what we start finding around here. Um, but part of it is just, you know, being defensive and also um, basically me trying to maintain a presence around here, uh, so the stuff that's happening <laughs> over here uh, in the South China Sea and over in the Solomons doesn't start happening in the uh, the Celibus Sea area. Speaking of the Solomons, uh, so we do have a good track on the cruiser over here for now. It looks like he's retreating. Uh, these guys are basically all falling back. We're going to get behind the um, the surface forces as they arrive, and then once we form up with these guys, we'll go ahead and, and proceed against uh, Rabaul and uh, some early hits in the Solomons, um, behind, basically behind their cover. Not too much else to say about the Solomons. Um, of course, kind of the big event of the turn was the Enterprise battle group over here uh, bombing and wiping out uh, my amphibious forces that had landed on Tarawa. Um, kind of the question now is, is what's the Enterprise going to do next? And uh, the most sensible thing to do is hit and run, because uh, he knows my carriers can't be that far. Um, but he might not necessarily do that, and you can see, like, we've got, you know, a task force here, uh, three task forces collected at Naru, which fortunately haven't been detected, so he doesn't know these guys are here. Um, heck, he doesn't even know this guy's here. Um, 
But if he pushes forward, he's going to run right into these guys. And I've ordered most of them to retreat in this direction and try to prevent that. But carriers are fast and these guys are slow. Um, and, you know, not, not to mention it, but I really don't want to have his carriers going up against my strong surface fleets either. Um, with my Nels at truck, uh, there's no air HQ here yet, which means uh, I'm not going to be able to... Uh, attack ships effectively. Uh, Betty's just um, dropping conventional bombs never hit anything, basically. Uh, so I need to wait for my air HQ, which is en route, but I think it's still maybe like three days away. Is that who this is? No, further up. It's this guy. Yeah, so he's still, he's still got a ways to go. Um, so... Uh, really, the only thing I can do about these guys is, is if if they want to push forward, um, give them a carrier fight <laughs> early on. I know it's only December 12th. Um, my carriers are a bit thirsty, so that's these guys up here. Uh, they'll go ahead and stop at Quadge first, um, but after that, uh, if the Enterprise wants to stick around, it's fight on. And uh, with that, uh, that's uh, going to do it for the setup of the turn. So, uh, like I said, hopefully we stop the bleeding soon. I definitely uh, kind of looking forward to a quiet turn after watching my amphibious forces getting trashed over and over again. Uh, hopefully I've learned a little bit from that, and I'll be uh, a little bit better moving forwards, making sure that I have covering forces in place. Uh, so I'll catch you at the combat replay. All right, here we go. Combat replay for December 12th, 1941, now running. Looks like we just picked that island up just by proximity. Haven't been moving any more troops there yet. Oh, Who would we catch here? Probably a local minesweeper. Don't know how he gets away. These ships should be faster. It's a patrol tender. Okay, maybe he's not getting away after all. <laughs> all right. Clear sky. Yeah, I don't know why we can't catch this guy. It's not like it's stormy or foggy. Hmm. Alright, let's kill this guy. I noticed something was going on in the Philippines, too, so... Somebody felt threatened, I think, and disengaged. Alright, so hopefully now that we've lethally damaged this guy, we don't continue to waste ammunition. Now you can break off, guys. <laughs> there we go. That wasn't too bad. Good riddance. Alright, got a Dutch sub out in deep water. And our destroyers will not be able to get to them. Not the right depth charges. Pretty big task force. I wonder if that's Carrier Division 2. If so, at least he didn't spot the carrier. Ah, here we go. Finally managed to uh, intercept a decent sized convoy. After seeing all mine get wasted, this will be a nice change of pace. not appear these tankers are loaded. That's fine by me, they burn just fine without any cargo. Do 
do like to see them hit the ships that are already damaged with torpedoes, so they're nice and slow when they get the hit. Though in that case, wasting two long lances on a ship that was already fatally damaged was probably not the best application. At least he should sink after this round. There he goes. Well, we're uh, really using those torpedoes in this fight, if you want to call it a fight. like the uh, Dos Hermanos still hasn't been hit. And there's another AKL down there that's been left alone. There we go. Don't leave them out of the party. Somebody got the doser minus. So now at least since everyone's been damaged, I'll go ahead and fast forward this since we can be fairly confident everyone's going to get wiped out. Sunk, 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 sunk. Yes, they're all gone. I don't know why it says task forces break off when there is and sunk after everyone. Oh well. Yeah, who are they retreating from? Yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, the sun coming up so we can get some scout planes in the Sulu Sea. Find out what's going on there. Oh, what do you know? That's going to be the Durban. Yep. They went all the way up the Makassar Strait. Or no, no, they went all the way around uh, through the South China Sea and then turned south. Well, heck, that means Carrier Division 2 should get a shot at them. Let's go. And we have mines at Jolo. That's probably too late at this point. Uh, would be nice if we could get one of these subs. Oh, great. Now our subs are getting attacked. Not very effectively. Uh, just one destroyer? Okay. Alright, let's get some airstrikes here. Got lots of targets in range around the Philippines. Let's hit them. Guess it's nice to see no enemy aircraft over Manila. T 
decently productive attack on Georgetown. A lot of squads disabled. No combat squads being disabled. Maybe that means there aren't any there anymore. Okay. Weakening up this unit before we attack them. Another raid to weaken up enemy forces that we're in contact with. Ooh, they're starting to smoke. These guys might be in bad condition. I'll have to keep that in mind when I decide to attack. When considering to attack. Uh, so it's Aelor Star getting hit. Pretty good, causing some unit destructions in addition to disablements. Uh, so this is going to be the one where there's going to be an automatic shock attack. Ooh, nice. 91 casualties. Uh, doesn't look like they have any combat squads either, so... Looks like the shock attack's going to be just fine. Uh, what is this? Uh, type Hing. Uh, decent casualties here. Okay. A little bit more around Canton. Yep, they're smoking again. This guy's apparently taking a beating. Some more in Taiping. Ooh, getting some units destroyed here. Yeah, these guys are in bad shape. I'd really, really like to get the Durban. Come on. Where's my airstrikes? This SB3 is really want Canton for some reason. There's really nothing there for him. <laughs> Alright. Two Kingfishers on some kind of naval strike? Uh, let's see, what were their orders here? One Kingfisher destroyed. We actually know we got two. Radius overhead. Does it say what they were doing? Just a morning air attack. Raid spotted. Yeah, I guess this is just a naval attack? Yeah, it's got to be a naval attack. Do not have coverage here. Uh, those are some pretty decent sized bombs. Kind of dangerous if they hit. Ooh, we haven't seen B-17s yet. Unfortunately, I think the B-17s are a greater threat to the Nates than the Nates are to the B-17s. Anytime we even damage him, I count that as a little bit of a struck of good luck. Fortunately, these bombers are ineffective, and perhaps being attacked by the fighters is part of what's making them ineffective. Maybe there's a small unit of nades I can convert to Oscar soon. To be a little bit more threatening to the B-17s. I'm not going to move my Tojos over there, it's just not important enough. Oh, come on. We know he's in the Sulu Sea. Looked like my carriers near the marshals might have detected something. Oh, let's get something good. Well, damage an AP, but that was a very largely ineffective strike, probably thanks to the heavy rain. 
going into Kuala Lumpur. I don't actually remember ordering this airstrike. Just make a little note for myself to check their orders, make sure they're doing what I want them to do. But hey, at least they're not bombing an airbase that I'm likely to take anytime soon. Yeah, they racked up the place pretty good. Alright, here's a small airstrike. I guess something's better than nothing. Hmm. I thought I discontinued this strike. Oh well. You know, that enemy cruiser is responsible for sinking so many of our transports. It's just a shame we can't track him down when he's apparently very close, and he's in an area where we have plenty of naval search going on. Yeah, shoot one of these guys and the other one runs off. Uh, that's probably... Um, the task force delivering the engineering units to Quanton that's being attacked here. Yep, the Durbin gets away again. Sneaky little guy. It's really going to be cause for celebration when I finally kill that little jerk. Nope. Our tanks are at Georgetown. Looks like there is no resistance. Got one enemy unit to surrender, two retreated. Not bad at all. And looks like we have no casualties in this. Um, wrong op mode. That's a little interesting. It's not like they went strategic because they can't rail out. Okay. Alright, got a deliberate attack on a Chinese core. Uh, it's okay, so only squads disabled for us, uh, so that's really good. Plenty of enemy casualties. Nothing to complain about there. Just maintaining the bombardment here while I'm waiting for uh, the bulk of my forces to arrive. Alright, deliberate attack on Hong Kong, day two. Let's see if we can get the forts down some more. No, forts hold at level two. Uh, s the salt odds fell significantly from where they were last time. So that's concerning. Um... But hey, we only have disabled squads, uh, one destroyed gun, um, but he's losing combat squads. Um, so I think I'll probably end up resting my troops tomorrow, but we can pick this up. There's still hope that the, we don't need to reinforce to pull this off. Okay, and these were the guys that were smoking the whole time. Uh, so yeah, between... The fact that these guys are clearly not in great condition and that we can see that we have them outnumbered, it's probably time to attack them. Alright, just grabbing some empty bases in Dutch New Guinea. No big deal. Allied counter battery, I guess we could call it in Hong Kong, does nothing. And that's going to do it. So, you know, as much as I regret that we were not able to 
sink the Durban, the uh, terror of the South China Sea. Um, our goal for this turn was basically to stop the bleed, and uh, we didn't really lose anything this turn. Um, I don't even think we lost any planes in air-to-air -air combat. Now that's interesting. We just had a partisan attack at Kotabo, even though it's still garrisoned. Apparently they're pulling troops out, I can only guess. Uh, anyways, as for reviewing the turn really quick... Um, yeah, aircraft loss is pretty insignificant. Six for the Allies, four for me. Let's look at mine real quick to see what I lost. Uh, yeah, four operational losses. Zero and L, Betty and Ababs. Oh, it happens. And then the Allies lost the two Kingfishers they tried to attack us with. Uh, PBY got shot down air to air at some point. Uh, this Doriner was shot down attacking our cargo ships in the South China Sea off the Malayan coast. And then they also had a few ops losses as well. Uh, nothing too drastic there. Ship sunk. Japanese ships. Nothing. That is a most welcome sight. Uh, and then Allied ships. Got a pretty decent tanker. A uh, decent cargo ship here. What is this? Harriman class. Eh, max speed is only 12. Not that great of a cargo ship. But hey, at least we're sinking something. Uh, and then other relatively minor ships that are of little consequence. Uh, definitely need to sink some better ships of the enemies. Uh, but as I mentioned, at least the bleeding's basically stopped. Um, let's check in over at the marshals and see if we see the enemy carriers anymore. No, we don't. Um, oh, wow. Uh, we let these AMCs get really close to this action here. I didn't realize they'd gotten so close. Um, I think the carriers, we last saw them around here. Um, so if we're not getting detections on any of these ships, then it's a safe bet the enemy carriers have withdrawn. Um, so that's fine. You know, no news is good news, I guess. Over here on the Solomons, we... we do not hold any detections, uh, so that's good news. And we finally have surface forces available, um, which means we can resume our offensive operations. These guys have already been detected, so that's probably going to be enough to deter um, further enemy attacks. As much as I'd like to kill some of these enemies responsible for attacking me, um, I guess I'll settle for scaring them away. Uh, but good news there. Uh, over here in the South China Sea and Java Sea, four ships spotted here. Uh, definitely interested in those guys. And we do have a submarine in proximity, so hopefully we can get an attack on those. Um, I do remember that we had um, an instance of combat that was a sub versus a destroyer. I wonder if that was the 157. Uh, let's check that real quick. I think that was early in the day, right? Yeah, 157 at 59 or 5594. Uh, don't do that. Show me what Texas says. Yeah, 5594. Uh, okay, so that's probably the same task force. Um, so I'd be interested in knowing who else is here. Uh, and we have some ships active here at Batavia. Um, they seem to be staying local. Don't have anyone picked up over here yet. Uh, the Durban has... Uh, well, who's this? Alright, so two ships there. The, the Durban was with a three-ship task force. Um, so it's possible this is them. But I don't think so. Uh... Don't really have any contacts over here. It's still reporting four submarines in port, so we definitely have cause to keep bombing Manila. Um, and there may be a destroyer here, if that's accurate. So maybe this little port at Clark is worth bombing, too. I haven't given Clark any love in a while. 
Um, so maybe I need to uh, switch focus away from Manila and back to Clark. I do want to make sure I don't let this um, the airfield and port damage decline too much. Um, so right now it looks like Clark's got all the um, the lasting damage. Um, but basically I want to make sure that they're always repairing their base so they can't build up their fortification level. Uh, so I'll, that's something for me to consider. Uh, no contacts of any real significance over here. Uh, these guys at Sabang look to be transports. That's interesting. Um, hmm. Probably an evacuation rather than a reinforcement. This seems easy for reinforce, or seems early for reinforcement. Oh, I'm lacking surveillance here. That's going to need to change, even if it ends up just being um, like Nels, or not Nels, um, Babs's. Um, I'm definitely going to need to get the Bettys and Nels over in this area to start looking at Rangoon. I don't want reinforcements landing there, but I just think it's early. I think that would be more of a concern later in the month. So, China's pretty quiet. Uh, let's see, how's how are the fatigue levels doing on these guys. Okay, so fatigue and disruption is getting up there. Uh, so definitely I'll be wanting to rest these guys. Um, this is a little concerning. We're getting close to my base here, although this is a swamp and they're fortification level 3, so we should be able to hold out against an attack if that's what it comes to. Uh, so we'll be able to hit these guys soon. Um, I'm probably going to hit those guys this turn. Uh, the shock attack I was expecting here didn't happen. Uh, we crossed the river and moved into the hex, but we didn't attack. Um, I thought the shock attack was automatic, so that surprises me. Uh, and then we still have some other units we can start tracking down over here. Uh, so yeah, um, I'll wrap it up there, and we'll... Uh, check in on the next turn once I've completed my setup. Thanks for watching.